Well, let's welcome to the show former DEA special agent Derek Maltz. Derek, thanks for joining us. Derek, let's get the viewer updated on what's going on. The president is going to Canada tomorrow. He's going to talk to Canada's parliament. Still not going to the toxic train crash in East Palestine, Ohio. New Monmouth poll, 72% of Americans believe the U.S. is on the wrong track under this president. That's up four points since the sever. Now the White House press secretary, KJP, says fentanyl is a global problem. Not, not, she's downplaying that it's a U.S. problem. What do you think? Well, she also told America a couple of weeks ago that fentanyl at the border was at an all-time low. I mean, it's unbelievable. But, like, you have my AUKUS, our Homeland Security Secretary, telling everyone how the border, he's got operational control of the border, but then his Border Patrol chief contradicts it. So it's an administration that's deceiving the public. Ann Milgram, the head of the DEA, has been very transparent just yesterday putting out the new warning to all Americans about the xylazine, the trank drug on the street, the animal tranquilizer that is literally causing people to rot from the inside and out, Chinese chemical companies bombing our country with poisonous, deadly chemicals, and the White House isn't even talking about it. And I testified in Congress a couple of weeks ago, and I made it clear that it's a disgrace that the Department of Education is not educating our kids on this deadly epidemic. We've never had this in the history of the country. And our, our CDC can't produce accurate and timely stats on historic amounts of people dying from fentanyl. There's, the, the president should be calling for a, a national emergency yeah. and public health emergency so the citizens understand the severity of the threat. We have never had this before, Liz. Yeah, that trank drug you cited, apparently it's now in 48 states. And the issue, too, is that you know, the, the government is not saying to hospitals, you got to screen for fentanyl poisoning. I don't know if they're doing that. It doesn't seem like hospitals nationwide are ramping up to just take the records nationwide of fentanyl poisoning in their emergency rooms. Let's, let's watch the White House chaos on fentanyl. You're going to see the White House press secretary, the secretary of state, Blinken, testify. And you're going to see a mom and parents, by the way, have been saying fentanyl is a huge problem. It's been fatally poisoning their children and Americans. Watch this. As it re relates to the fentanyl, uh, this, is, this is not a U.S. problem. Uh, it's a global one. The trafficking of illicit drugs is causing a societal, societal damage, needless death and suffering, and not just here, but also in Mexico. Do you agree with the, the following statement, that fentanyl coming from Mexico is killing Americans by the tens of thousands? Uh, it is, and it's also killing Mexicans. Yeah, uh, well, do you agree? As and you talk about children being taken away from their parents? My children were taken away from me. I don't use the term drug overdose because this was not an overdose. This was murder. This is a war. Act like it. Do something. You know, that was Rebecca Kiesling. She's been a guest on our show, The Evening Edit. Her two sons were poisoned to death by fentanyl from fake pills. This mom demanded the president apologize earlier this month. We're not hearing that. So how can the Secretary of State and the White House Press Secretary, Derek, downplay that two-thirds of U.S. overdose deaths come from fentanyl? Look at this. 95% of overdoses in New Orleans tied to fentanyl. But this is not a crisis? Well, Liz, I'm so happy that you pulled out that article about the 95% fentanyl-related deaths. You know, people are just being misled because we know the stats are higher. I work with the families around America every day of the week. I made the original collage project that they're now using all over the place. DEA has an exhibit about all these dead kids. So I'm very familiar with this. And there's 13-year-olds dying in their bedrooms. So it's something we've never had ever in the history. But the thing that's irresponsible is they're misleading the public. This is not an opioid-only crisis. It's a poisoning from China. China is bombing the country with these chemicals. Now we have, not only do we have xylazine, we have nitazine, etanitazine. We have pyro on the streets. We have isonitazine. These are much more powerful opioids, synthetic opioids. And the thing about xylazine, Liz, the Narcan will not reverse the impact of xylazine. It's not an opioid. It's not a controlled substance, wow. so they're taking advantage of the vulnerabilities in America to make money. It's all about the money, Liz. So this is also a national security threat, you're saying, from China? 
A hundred percent. This is like you could see this a mile away. China has unrestricted warfare. They want to destroy their adversary. They don't have to bomb us with traditional bombs. They're using chemicals. Got it. Derek Maltz, thank you so much, and thank you for all you've done for America with your work at the DEA. Thank, DEA thanks for joining us tonight.